The Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew, the first chapter. Now the birth of Jesus Christ took place in this way. When his mother Mary had been betrothed to Joseph, before they came together, she was found to be with child from the Holy Spirit. And her husband Joseph, being a just man and unwilling to put her to shame, resolved to divorce her quietly. But as he considered these things, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, do not fear to take Mary as your wife, for that which is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had spoken by the prophet. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which means God with us. When Joseph woke from sleep, he did as the angel of the Lord commanded him. He took his wife, but he knew her not until she had given birth to a son, and he called his name Jesus. Once upon a time, a long, long time ago, time ago begins the story of a baby that most of you should know. His daddy was Joseph, and Mary was his mom. His baby very special, he was God's only son. Some angels came from heaven, and they began to say to the shepherds in the field below, God tidings do we bring, a bright star lit the heavens to light the Magi's way. To the baby in the manger, who was born on Christmas Day. All who gather round him, rejoice and praise his birth. For the baby the Jesus is our Savior here on earth. The Holy Gospel according to St. Luke, the second chapter. In those days a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration when Quirinius was governor of Syria. And all went to be registered, each to his own town. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth, to Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem. Because he was of the house and lineage of David to be registered with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. And while they were there, the time came for her to give birth. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling cloths and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. Chapter 2, verse 8 through 14. And in the same region there were shepherds out in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were filled with fear. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of a, of a great joy that will be for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of of David, a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling cloths and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was an angel, there was the angel, a, mul a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among those 
with whom he is pleased. Angels we have heard on high, sweetly singing o'er the plain, and the mountains in reply, echoing their joyous strains. Gloria in a Chelsea stadium. Gloria in a Chelsea Chapter 2, verse 15 through 20. When the angels went away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go over to Bethlehem and see the thing what has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. And they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph, and the baby lying in a manger. And when they saw it, they made known the saying that had been told them, concerning this child, and all who had heard it wondered at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured up all these things, pondering them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard, and seen as it had been told to them. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare His room. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven.